Hi, my name is Haley Tipton, and today I'm going to be talking to you about um, the emerging technology in the sonography field. Specifically, we're going to take a closer look at compact ultrasound systems, and we're also going to take a more broader look at the latest imaging techniques used in the sonography field. So exactly what is an ultrasound? An ultrasound uses high frequency sound waves to make images of um, your body's internal organs and structures inside. Ultrasounds are extremely useful in the medical field specifically to three areas. Um, the cardiac system, uh, prenatal, and your um, to your abdominal cavity. We medical professionals are able to use um, ultrasound equipment to diagnose the causes of pain, swelling, and infection of the body's internal organs. It's also, as we all know, useful in prenatal care um, to take a look at fetuses in utero. And also, it's um, helpful in looking at the brains and hips of infants. It's also useful in guiding biopsies, diagnosing heart conditions, and assessing the damage after a heart attack. So let's take a look at the history of the first ultrasound machine. Although there are multiple notable in, in innovators that contributed to the invention process of ultrasounds, one in, man in particular allowed for the idea of sonography machinery to evolve in the medical field. Um, this man was Professor Ian Donald, and of course he had the help of his colleagues as well. In the mid-1950s, he did much to facilitate the development of the um, practical, practical technology of ultrasound equipment, and he made um, medical professionals aware of its applications. This led to the wider use of ultrasound machinery in medical practice in the subsequent decades. So now I'm going to tell you a little bit about the timeline of sonography. So as I said, in the mid-late 1950s, um, ultrasound equipment was, you know, basically made and produced and prepared to be put into the medical field. The following decades, the 60s and the 70s, um, it was being used. It was kind of maybe a little bit taboo. You know, not all medical hospitals had them. Um, in the mid and late 90s, there were advances in scientists and medical professionals' knowledge of exactly how the sound waves are able to interact with, you know, your internal organs to produce these images. Um, and then in the late 2000s, you know, similar, even more it, research and advances were made. And these researches and advances um, allowed for, um, you know, the mechanical functions of the equipment to kind of, you know, go a little smaller. Like it wasn't this big bulky machinery that took up an entire room um, just to take, you know, for one patient. So in 2016, there were definitely more advances made in how um, cardiac sonography could be beneficial to patients and medical professionals. And we'll take a closer look at that um, a few slides later. And then in 2017, as we all know, um, 3D imaging was, you know, put out there for use by medical pro professionals. And, you know, we've mostly seen the, the sonograms of, you know, infants and, you know, the images are absolutely miraculous. And although, yes, it's wonderful, parents and relatives get to see an up-close image of their baby, it's even better for medical professionals to have this more concrete image of the fetus so they can get a better idea of the health of the fetus. So what exactly is a compact ultrasound system? In simplest terms, a compound ultrasound system is a small portable ultrasound device that is able to carry out the functions of those machines that preceded it um, with the same, if not better, efficiency and accuracy with the convenience of its size. 
Um, there are several different types of portable ultrasound machinery. There's one um, that's rather small, similar to a flip phone that attaches a small transducer. Um, it honestly looks like it's about pocket size. Then there's the compact um, ultrasound system itself, which is basically more of a laptop size and it can be picked up and carried. Um, then there's a smartphone actually where you can get an app and plug in with a USB your transducer and along with the smartphone, there's an iPad app where you can wirelessly have your transducer, which is honestly just extremely interesting and cool. Um, these size benefits are just the evolution from this ginormous, big, bulky, multiple pieces of the equipment from going to a smaller, just one rolling equipment, you know, bulky computer to now, you know, they still have rolling ones with the laptop and everything. Um, that's not a compact one, obviously, but just the fact that they were able to just make it smaller and smaller and smaller and more convenient through the years is just awesome because now it can be taken from facility to facility, you know, level different levels of the hospital to, to see and treat different patients. So now we're gonna um, kind of define the 3D imaging a little more. So um, three-dimensional images are compiled from sound waves coming back at different angles, and the images are easier to understand and show more details, while the 4D imaging is actually a video motion of the 3D dimensional figure, which is awesome for cardiac sonography because you're actually watching how the heart is pumping blood through its, you know, through its arteries and that is just it's just awesome so why why do we care about 3d and 4d imaging it has absolutely done wonders for the prenatal um, field with the clear images uh, technicians can more easily detect abnormal abnormal uh, i'm sorry abnormalities which allows physicians to better prepare themselves their staff and the parents so in conclusion, ultrasound machinery is immensely, immensely useful in the medical field. The machinery can be implicated in multiple areas of the healthcare field. Um, without this machinery, uh, we, you know, other than x-rays, which really don't give you a, you know, awesome look at your organs and you cannot take x-rays of infants, you know, we would be really at a, a standstill, I feel, in our medical um, field at this point. Um, so that's all I have for you today. If you have any questions, just go ahead and email them to me. Um, thank you.